Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to look at the new 5.4.4 build of firmware found on the PepLink Balance 210 or above, as well as the PepWave Max products. This adds a unique and easy to use feature for speed fusion monitoring, which allows you to quickly see and graph how much data throughput you're getting off of each of your available connections. So as you can see here, I've got a cable connection set up as well as a Verizon 3G modem. And I have a Speed Fusion VPN tunnel established back to our main corporate office where a PepLink Balance 380 is located. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a video upload by connecting to our server. And I'm going to upload that and we're going to track the uh, usage as well as see the throughput from the available connections. We're just going to go into movies and we're going to drag a Wilson Sleek accessory kit. And as you can see, as I'm moving through the server, you're seeing a little bit of traffic throughput. But as soon as we start to uh, upload that to the server, we should start to see throughput off of each of the connections. So as you can see, we're starting to generate a little bit of throughput here in traffic. And this is nice if you need to troubleshoot a specific connection. What this allows you to do is see if you've got, say, a Verizon modem, a Sprint modem, and an AT&T modem. You're going to be able to quickly see how much throughput each of these modems are giving you. For instance, if you're looking at this graph, you're seeing that I'm getting about 300, uh, roughly about 300 with some dip downs, where on the cable connection, I'm averaging a little over a megabit about one to one and a half in my testing. But I've seen the Verizon modem, uh, they're starting to peak up upwards of about a half a meg. And again, if you had more USB modems with like the Max 600, 700, or HD2, you would see all the throughput so you can easily identify and figure out which modems are giving you your best performance. Again, this is found on the new PepLink or PepWave firmware 5.4.4. Thank you.